In the auction business, I've learned to expect anything. But when R2-D2's cousin came rolling in, I wasn't sure what's going on. Hello, Paul. Well, hello, can I help you? Yes, I would like you to sell me at your next auction. I'm the Omnibot 2000. Okay. Jason, I should have known it was you. How are you? Me. My friend Jason is into electronics, so it's no surprise to see him come in with this odd little robot. Electronics can be hit or miss for me, though, so I've got to only take in items that I think have potential. Was this yours when you were little? It was in my cousin's house. When we were kids, yeah. he would never let us touch it. So a few weeks ago, my aunt and uncle were having this garage sale. Guess who shows up at the garage sale? The so, Omnibot. The Omnibot. And so I picked up for 50 bucks, took it home, got it working, and it's Totally awesome. Thing cost six hundred bucks in nineteen eighty four. They were at six hundred dollars. Yeah, it for was real. like it was top of the line. It was the first consumer robot that you could like have at home. Its hand works. Its arm will work. Don't know if it makes calls or not. You need a call. Uh, there you the go. Hole? Don't crack the screen. Oh. <laughs> Where's that microphone? On the side. Hey Jason, what's up? Overall, I'd say the robot is in excellent condition. All the functions work properly, so it's ready to go for hours of enjoyment. He's really got that 80s feel, you know? There were a couple of robot movies that came out in the 80s, and I think everybody thought that by the year 2000, we'd all have personal robots at home. How long do they make these things? They made it from 1984 to 1988. That's good news, because the Omnibot's limited production run might just increase the vintage toy collector's interest and the price. What do you got to get for him? I think maybe we could do 250 on it. Mm, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm thinking two is probably the ceiling, to be honest really? with you. Yeah, I'm not really the be-all, end-all expert on right. toys by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just feeling like 200 is probably, you know, right. as ambitious as we're likely to get. That's more than I put into it, okay. so if it does that, that's great. But I wouldn't have any sort of illusions that you're going to get rich with it. <laughs> okay. All right, Jason, would you go over there and fill the paperwork out? You know the drill. Sure. I'll be hanging out with this thing. And, uh, All right. Wish me luck at auction. Bye-bye. <laughs>